Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. Sagittarius, you have a very strong energetic week. You have three major arcanas and it's it's talking about you uh, overcoming some insecurities, some fears, some sense of obscure feelings, feeling um, confused and lost about your sense of future or purpose. And overcoming that, uh, looking at things with a whole new perspective and remembering what's your dream, remembering what's your goal, what's your wish, because it's about to manifest and it, it could very well manifest. If you just um, overcome this fear of letting it in, letting the good thing in, which usually is not really a Sagittarius trait, but you know, um, we all go through phases in our life where we are more doubtful or insecure or fearful because a number of circumstances. And Saturn is in your sign. So it's bringing you a lot of hard lessons, a lot of um, tasks of integrity and maturity. And it, it, until Saturn is in your sign, until it leaves your sign, it's about discipline and hard work. And you can bring to surface a lot of insecurities and fears deeply rooted uh, inside of ourselves. So Sagittarius, as a main opportunity, you have the hanged man. As a main opportunity, you have an opportunity to stop, to take a break, to uh, uh, realize that it's time to see and to look at things at a whole and complete new perspective. In uh, one which you are much more, um, first of all, it's about surrendering as well, where you just surrender, you stop trying to fight the circumstances you are surrounded at at the moment, and you surrender. And once you surrender, you start looking at it. You start observing what's going on around you, what's going on around that situation that is uh, worrying you. And this new sense of enlightenment, this new sense uh, of clarity starts rising simply by the fact that you are shifting your perception and that you are looking at the situation in a complete new way which is your opportunity this week, is to take um, fear or insecurity of stagnation into your into its best and into its um, the best thing it can give you, it can give you, which is um, a mature sense of other ways of perceiving life, other ways of perceiving reality, and other ways of perceiving whichever situation you are facing in that it's causing you some fear. The main challenge about the situation is the moon in the reverse. So the main challenge is about you starting to clarify your own self by surrendering, surrendering yourself to your subconscious, surrendering yourself to your insecurities, and surrendering yourself to your shadow self, which most of the times is uh, what it's needed to face fear uh, to overcome fear is to face it, not try to eliminate it or um, ignore it because uh, then the shadow and the fear and the dark, uh, deepest uh, feelings inside of us will grow stronger because we are denying it. And it's about acknowledging them and bringing them to light of awareness and consciousness, looking at them again with a complete new perspective facing those insecurities, facing those troubled emotions, that confusion, that deception, that a sense of um, secrecy or, or not knowing what's going on around you. And once you uh, are in that position of a hangman, you can start uh, seeing the veils of illusion fading away, seeing the, the obscure, the dark night of the soul, clearing up to a new dawn and a dawn of light of awareness where you start to realize much about your fears, your feelings, and the fears and the feelings and the lies or the truths um, connected with the situation. So as the main challenge is about you uh, surrendering, surrendering to your uh, most un 
undesirable traits or that you perceive as undesirable because you are an expensive sign and you are, uh, you are optimistic sign and you want to live life in its um, brightest and beautiful way where there's no sense of darkness but in order for that to be real and not just a constant uh, um, escape from your own uh, essence and duality and uh, darker traits nature you first need to face it you need to face it to, so you can overcome it so then you can go and explore life in that free spirited lightest way uh, with truth from your own example of overcoming this uh, the advice is the star so again the advice is to keep the hope as high as you can is about you um, uh, realizing that in the middle of what's going on in this situation that is asking you a lot that you once you start realizing it and seeing the situation in a completely new way you will realize that this shadow work or this work that is asking you of uh, discernment that is asking you to that to be done uh will bring you much more opportunity of manifestation of self-healing of uh renovation of uh expanding your beliefs expanding what you perceive as um, um, wants a limitation and now an empowerment and a tool to rise up to your own star to fulfill your wishes and to fulfill your dreams but especially the advice is to keep the hope keep the hope because whatever it's going on and it's causing you fear or insecurity or confusion um, it's it's there just for you to take a break and see things with another um, with another pair of eyes that's inside of your own soul um, and it's about you keeping the hope and you realizing that many blessings are coming your way it's just about you having the patience and um, overcoming the ego the ego self-centered needs so you can just surrender to what it is and surrender to whatever the situation the Zen advice is stress so you are stressing about it and you are juggling maybe you are juggling with a lot of things going on uh, uh, at once in your life not knowing exactly where to put your focus where to put your attention and that can create that moon card uh, not knowing and uh, confusion and uh, a lot of scattered uh, thoughts and feelings and it's about you taking a break that's why the hangman is a main opportunity it's about you uh, acknowledging that this stress is um, is uh, bringing a more profound sense of fear and a more profound sense of uh, having to deal with issues that you wish you 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 wish you, you didn't have to, but it's time to do so. It's time to 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 quit the stress that it's causing you a lot of uh, harm in your own health and uh, taking a break, stopping to realize stopping to uh, acknowledge uh, uh, new perspectives upon uh, the situation which have a lot of hope in it which has a lot of promise in it and it's about you flowing and healing and you let yourself be healed by the waters of emotions and intuition and the clarity and the vision and the answer will come so I wish you a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, subscribing. It really means a lot to me. And we'll see each other in the next video.